I'm Abiyad Moses from Exodus Music. Today we shall be discussing about the construction of scale with and without key signature. Construction of scale with key signature and it's for, uh, construction of scale without key signature. Be so subscribe to the page, like the page, and drop your comment. I'm going to attend to all questions. Now let's discuss about the construction of scale with key signature. Now the construction of scale with key with key signature is when the key signature is placed immediately after the clef sign before the alphabetical arrangement of notes. It's when the key signature is placed immediately after the clef sign before the arrangement of the notes. Now, for example, let's construct the scale of G. Let's construct the scale of G. Now, the scale of G. Now, the scale of G. KG has how many sharp? KG has only one sharp, which is F sharp. So, KG equal to F sharp. KG equal to F sharp. So, what are we going to do next? Now, the step to construct the scale G with key signature. You draw your clef sign. So, after the clef sign, you indicate the key signature. So, you fix the key signature before the alphabetical arrangement of the notes. So, the key signature of G is F sharp. And so, you fix the F sharp. And remember, this is E, F, there is another F at the top. And that is what we are going to do. This F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So, this line is F. So, you put your key signature. So, after the key signature, then you fix the alphabet and you fix the note alphabetically. You know, for, to control the scale of G, you have to start from G and end on G. That is G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So, the scale of G is what? G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And G. I hope you understand that. So, and on the, on the scale of G, F is sharpened. So, we've indicated the key signature. That is construction of scale with key signature. So, the key signature has been placed. Then, after the placement of the key signature, then the, uh, the arrangement of the note in alphabetical order. So, let's look for G. This line is what? This line is E, F, and G. So, you start from this side. This G, then A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Now, let's write out the note. So, this is G. This is A. This is B. This is C. This is E. So, this is G. A, B, C. This is D. This is E. Then, this is F. Now, F, the key F, the line has been sharpened, makes it F sharp, makes it F sharp. On the note, the line has been sharpened, so the note will be what? F sharp and what? G. Now, let's quickly draw another example. Let, let's construct the scale of D with key signature. So, key D equal to what? F sharp and C sharp. Now let's construct the scale of D with key signature. Then draw your clef sign. After drawing your clef sign, then put the key signature before the alphabetical arrangement of the notes. So the key signature is what? F sharp and C sharp. So we already know our F sharp here. Then the C sharp, E, F, G, A, B, C. So this space is C. Then you fix the sharp. Then you look for your D. This line is E. This line is E. Then before E, this space is D. After D, line E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. Then write out the notes. D. Then this is what? E. Then F sharp. Then G, A, B, C sharp. Because C is sharp on here, C sharp, then what? D. I hope you understand that. So that is the construction of scale with key signature. That is 
fixing the key signature before the alphabetical arrangement of the note. That is fixing the key signature, the accidental first before the arrangement of the letter. Now let's move to the construction of scale without key signature. The construction of scale without key signature. Now the construction of scale without key signature is when the accidentals are placed behind the note. When the accidentals are placed behind the note, that is, we won't indicate the key signature, but the accidental will be beside the note affected. Now let's move to it. Now let's construct the scale of G. The scale of G, KG, without key signature. So we know KG has only one sharp, which is what? F sharp. KG has only one sharp, which is F sharp. Now let's control the scale of G without key signature. Now this is the, now you draw your step, your, your clef on the step. Then the control of scale without key signature, you, you, uh, you fix the note, that's the alphabetical arrangement of the note before the accidental. The alphabetical arrangement of the note before the accidental, and accidental should be beside the note. Now let's fix the uh, the alphabetical arrangement of notes. Let's fix the notes on the stage. So let's look for KG. So this is E, A, and G. So this line is G. So this is G, A, B, C, D, E, A, and G. So after the ar alphabetical arrangement of notes, after the alphabetical arrangement of notes, then you fix the accidental down on F. G is, uh, F is sharpened on G. So this is G. A, B, C, D, E, F. So this is the note F. Then you fix the sharp at the back of the note, at the back of the note, behind the note. So let's write it out. G, A, B, C, D, E, then F sharp and G. Can we do one more example? Now let's construct the scale of D. K, D without key signature. Key D equal to what? F sharp and C sharp. So what will you do first? You, uh, you construct the letters, that is the arrangement of the letter alphabetically before the accidental. Now let's look for D. D is D, E, F, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. Now let's see the accidental F. This is D, E, and F. F, G, A, B, C. That's it. So let's take it. So this is D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. Remember, the accidental should be behind the note. I hope you've gained something. One more time, I'm Abiyo Dumodis from Exodus Music City. Please subscribe the page, like the page, and drop your comment, drop your question. I'm going to attend to all questions. Thank you for watching.